What's up everyone? If you guys have ever watched one of our videos and seen something cool that like you would want or wondered like how much something is worth or seeing like what we don't really use on our farm anymore, this video is for you. I'm gonna go up and talk to my dad and we're gonna go around the farm and kind of like look at some things that are for sale on our farm. <laughs> This is our auto car. We're gonna get this out and we're gonna fix it up, paint it. The engine was just rebuilt before it was parked, which seems like a terrible idea that it got left here in the weeds, but <laughs> it's an awesome dump truck. Yeah, so it runs. It runs, it's crazy. Putting all new tires on it. Now are those maple trees growing? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna decorate the Everywhere. We're gonna move it, but this tree won't let it go. So, one of these days, the tree lets us, we're gonna take it. <laughs> then you start getting, trying to get rid of stuff, and then you realize you actually really like it. <laughs> Ooh, that thing we fixed up. Nice. Next on our list that we're selling is 500 milking cows. <laughs> yeah, and maybe these gloves. <laughs> if you're lucky, we'll throw in the gloves. This is our second item on the list. So, this dog. Oh, no. <laughs> is actually on sale today. <laughs> no. I'm thinking about selling her for 50 cents. No! You think she's worth 50 or a quarter? Less? I must have overpaid. <laughs> Alright, so we're just showing everybody some of the things that the things we have laying around the farm that we are gonna sell. And I figured we'd walk around and just show everybody. So if anybody's interested in any of this, it's all older stuff. But still works. Always did. This is our blower. It's a new Holland. As you can see. <laughs> As I can read right there. And it works, he said. Oh yeah. It's all kept up and everything, so. Someday we'll get it out. And I keep saying that every year, that we're gonna get it out and sell it, but never did. This is the truck that used to haul all the grain for the farm. Wow. Isn't that cool? It was the first one they had with a hoist. That is cool. Yeah. This is not for sale? Not for sale. Not for sale. We have some of these beauties. <laughs> Gravity wagons? We used to shovel the corn out of these wagons. They are not gravity wagons. Well, they're called gravity wagons, but they do not work with gravity <laughs> as well as they should. You're a really good advertiser. <laughs> I'm not selling them. Get oh, I thought you said you were. No. I don't think I've ever taken you guys into this shed. So. Come on, come here. Come on. Every ounce. That did. Yeah. We going out over here. So this truck here is worth um. Oh wow. Cents. No. That's a beauty. <laughs> We're just we keep taking parts off it. It's actually. I mean, really handy. Like we've gotten so many parts off of that because you can't find parts for an L nine thousand. Like they're really? so hard to get. Like looks like you are... could uh, run it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Good motor. Stop stepping in that. All right. So we yeah, have that's in really good shape. Our three anhydrous tanks. We stopped using anhydrous. We are going to sell these. All right. The other one's over here. Or there's two over here. They look like they're 
actually are in really good condition. So there's three of them. How many gallons do they hold? That's a good question. <laughs> we don't only have one, but two 8650s. This one's nice too. You know what's nice about this one? It's got the tires are all good on it. Oh. Probably worth more than the whole tractor. <laughs> <laughs> but this one's for sale too. We'd love to get rid of them. They just sit around. We don't use them anymore. They're just outdated. But they us. used to be. They're the main tractors. Yep. This one, we, the other one we cleaned up, but this one we haven't touched yet. So the other one is good to go. But this one needs, uh, just needs to be cleaned up and get running, which it should start up. Should be good. Are you eating? Mm. Wow, that tractor looks really good. <laughs> Doesn't that look good after it was painted? Yeah. I really like it. One thing that we do have that is really good is a six row cultivator. If anybody's ever looking for one. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's been hanging here for 20 years. And that's, it's in mint condition. I never actually have ran it myself. Really? You never got the honor. What is it? I can't yeah, really I tell. <laughs> There's a motor on that thing. It is crazy. Giant. Bought it at an auction. Really? And it's, never used it's it. It's really served you well. <laughs> We used to buy everything in auctions. <laughs> Always seems like a good idea when you're there. Yeah. Later? No. Do you like it? <laughs> I do like it. I like the pinstripes. It's got 60 foot blooms. Yeah. It always worked. What did you use it for? We sprayed everything with it. Okay. Up until probably 15 years ago. Oh. It's a good sprayer. Just, it runs. Just needs a bunch of work. Somebody would be happy to have it. What kind is it? Nice sitting there in the what what kind is it? Uh, the engine is an inter it's an international truck. Okay. I think it's like a 1982 oh. international. But I don't know the brand name of the sprayer. It's vintage. It's vintage. <laughs> we have so many cool things. These are actually really nice. Yes. We need to get a, a bath. But. Yeah, nothing looks that pretty right now, but it definitely could. <laughs> it's a set of Butterfly Vicon mowers. I think they're 32 feet wide. The other one that goes on the front of the tractor is over on the other side of the truck. They're in good shape though. We hardly ever use these. We, we usually use the self-propelled hay vines because yep. they're easier to operate. Yeah, they're easier for dummies like me. But these are, we had these going like two years ago. Yeah. Didn't we? Oh yeah. One time we had these going and the self-propelled hay vine and we cut down so much hay in one day it all turned to dust. It was so dry <laughs> we went to chop and it was, everyone was so mad. They couldn't keep up. So. <laughs> we have this beautiful squirrel cage fan that we don't know why we have, but okay. we do. Okay, okay. And anybody wants any parts for a 643 corn head? All right. It's good for parts. We've taken a bunch off, but there's still a bunch of I don't really parts call it on anything I'm sure someone would love to have parts. That would be cool to get this going. Seriously, Claudia, that's what I took my road test in. <laughs> That's now, impressive. If you can pass a road test in that, <laughs> you can pass a road test in anything. Mm. Wow, cool? it's even clean. Took that thing to Florida. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's so crazy. Oh, that's the, the front of the butterfly mower over there. That would be fun to get that thing out and wash up. And yep. Take it, drive it around with it. You think it'll still run? I know it runs. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, this is the front of the mower. There's there is lights in here. Oh, there is lights. We didn't turn on. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. This goes on the front, and then the other two will go on the back. Check out this combine. 
Isn't that cool, Claudia? <laughs> it's really cool. I didn't even know that this was here. It's so old. Wow. We bought it just because it was at an auction and it went for $300. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're like, it's too cool. We got wood paddles. Yeah. That's crazy. That is cool. Can you imagine sitting on that thing with no cap? No, because usually it's, the snow is blowing around. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, that would be so cold. <laughs> It'd be terrible. So you never use this, obviously? No. When did you get it? We bought it like 20 years ago at a farm auction. And it's been in here ever since. People were a lot tougher a while ago <laughs> than we are. Way tougher. <laughs> They're probably so happy just not to have to use like a hand tool. Yeah, true. I realized that this wasn't like a normal video that we normally would post, but I see a lot of comments of people knowing like, oh, like I see this sitting around, could totally use that on our farm. So um, I figured that I would just put those out there for you guys. Um, if you are serious about inquiring about something like a piece of equipment, claudiahlubner at gmail.com and you can tell me what you're interested in and then put an offer in. So we don't have set price for anything now, but it's kind of going to be like you put an offer in. We'll see how it goes from there. So um, thank you guys all for watching again. And make sure um, if you're inquiring, a series inquires only because, come on. Have a great day, everyone.